Guardians, Bolts Little Plays here, bringing you another Destiny video. It is Wednesday, April 5th, and we know what that means. It is Arms Day. So let's see what Patchy has for us this week. First up, we have the Kumukatak HC4 Hand Cannon, rank 1. Has Fast Draw IS, Steady Hand IS, Sure Shot IS, Luck in the Chamber, Quick Draw, or, or the Frame, Rescue Mag, or Surrounded. Rank 2 has Fast Draw IS, Steady Hand IS, or True Sight IS, Army of One, Lightweight, or Rifle Barrel, Triple Tap, or Exhumed. And Rank 3 has Fast Draw IS, Quick Draw IS, or True Sight IS, Army of One, Snapshot, or Oil Frame, Rescue Mag, or Exhumed. You're going to want to go with rank 2 this week. It's the only one that has a range buff. And you need that right now on hand cannons. Uh, this is more rolling towards a PvE. A triple tap and army of 1. It's got true sight, which isn't bad. Um, the only other thing is... This archetype doesn't get much love right now. The faster rate of fire. So if you can find one that's in the IS Luna Palindrome. Where it's about half the rate of fire than this. And more impact. That's the sweet spot right now for hand cannons. But still, this one wouldn't be bad for PvE if you don't have anything better. Next up, we have the Tuanilla SR4 Scout Rifle. Rank 1. Has Candle IS-2, Torch HS-2, or Signal MS-5. Triple Tap, Quick Draw, or Rifle Barrel, Third Eye, or Eye of the Storm. Rank 2 has Spark I 6, Flash HS4, or Signal MS5, Triple Tap, Snapshot, or Hand Laid Stock, Firefly, or Danger Close. Rank 3 has Candle I 2, Torch HS2, or Signal MS5, Replenish, Lightweight, or Rifle Barrel, Firefly, or Underdog. Rank 2 is your best bet. So you got Triple Tap, Hand Laid Stock, Firefly. Pretty close to what the old Vendor Hung Jury was with this. You just got less magazine than that one. Effectively, you should be able to get like 17 out of it if you hit all, if you keep procking triple tap. So, yeah, I definitely recommend number two for PvE. Next up, we have the Suros ARI 45 Auto Rifle. Rank 1 has SLO 19, SPO 26, or SRO 37, High Caliber Rounds, or Feather Mag, Snapshot, or Small Bore, and Outlaw. Rank 2 has SLO 19, SPO 26, or SRO 37, Perfect Balance, or Pendant Mag, Snapshot, or Hand Laid Stock, and Partial Refund. Rank 3 has SLO 19, SPO 28, or SPO 57, Fitted Stock, or Feather Mag, Snapshot, or Rifle Barrel, and Rangefinder. Your best bet this week would be the rank two, just because of the it's the only one with decent stability perks. So I'd rock hand laid stack. You can run perfect balance to pretty much max out stability, or I would probably try a pendant mag first to get that magazine size up. See how high it makes it. Uh, partial refund. Uh, it is an auto rifle, so if you get team shots, this might help. To return more to your magazine if you keep getting assists. I would have liked to have this be a different perk though. I would have made it a lot better. But yeah, for what's this here this week, I'd say rank two is your best bet. Next up we have the Herja D Pulse Rifle. Rank one has GA Post or LB Assault, Last Resort, Zen Moment, 
single point sling, speed reload, or hand laid stack. Rank 2 has GB Iron or LB Assault, Danger Close, Counterbalance, Snapshot, Fitted Stock, or Oiled Frame. And rank 3 is SC Hollow, LB Assault, Surrounded, Full Auto, High Caliber Rounds, Fitted Stock, or Injection Mold. Another rank 2. Uh, counterbalance is like a definite you want on the Hot K Pulse Rifles just because of their weird recoil where they go up and off to the side. This will straighten that recoil out, make it a lot easier. Then you're looking for stability. This one, unfortunately, has the lowest stability buff available, the fitted stock. Injection mold would have been nice. Hand laid stock would have been perfect to max out the stability. Then it's a laser beam. And then this spot, if you could have got, like, crowd control, you would have had a god roll. That, But this isn't too bad. I mean, it's only two enemies you got to be close by for this to proc for reload and handling. So if you get into firefights where it's not just 1v1s, this will actually help. This isn't too bad, it's got a little bit of stability, and then counterbalance is the must, like you're always looking for counterbalance in this spot for the hockey pulse rifles, so i definitely say if you're not willing to wait, this is a worth a shot. And last up we have the Soros JLB-47 rocket launcher. Rank 1 has Warhead Veneers, Smart Drift Control, or Hard Launch. Single point sling, or speed reload, reactive reload, javelin, or quick draw. Rank 2 is warhead veneers, soft launch, or hard launch, heavy payload, or flared magwell, spray and play, javelin, or lightweight. Rank 3 has aggressive launch, smart drift control, or countermass, single point sling, or speed reload, tracking, javelin, or lightweight. Definitely would say go with the third one here. Um, you're typically always looking for either tracking or grenades and horseshoes in this spot. Tracking for PvE, grenades and horseshoes for PvP. Uh, tripod, if you can't get either of those tripods, okay. But other than that, if there's anything else here, it's not worth your time, pretty much. This does have Javelin, which helps velocity a good amount, which is good. It does not have heavy payload, so I would probably say since this is a PvE weapon, go with speed reload. And then it doesn't have hard launch or warhead veneers, which are the best, but out of these, I would say go with aggressive launch. Field test weapons this week. We have the Hockey Test A hand cannon. Score Crucible Kills, Amelon Test HC1 Hand Cannon, make precision shots, another Amelon Test HC1 Hand Cannon, use against Vex, Hake Test A Pulse Rifle, make precision shots, and the Soros TSP Pulse Rifle, use against Vex. Just patrol Venus, looks like it, it's just general Vex targets. That or you can do these during story missions, possibly, since the weekly story this week is Venus and Mars locations. Foundry orders this week. Yeah, the Hake Arminius D auto rifle. The Soros DIS-43 scout rifle. The Hake Gaharis D hand cannon. The Hake Judith D hand cannon. And the Hake Jingo Kugu D shotgun. Out of these, I would say grab the Arminius and the DIS. Those are the ones that could be very good. This is the bullet holes. This with full auto and max stability and everything is a beast. The hand cannons are hit or miss. You pretty much have to wait for that perfect roll, just the way the perk tree is set up. I'm going to be any good. And the shotgun is just garbage. So I'd say the Arminius and the DIS are for sure what you want to grab this week if you have to limit yourself to amounts. That was Banshee's Arms Day stock for the week of April 5th. 
Make sure to like, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts on what he brought this week, what you're looking forward to next week. And check out my other videos at youtube.com slash C slash Boltzilla Plays. And you can check me out streaming from time to time over at twitch.tv slash Boltzilla Plays. Till next time, Guardians, take it easy.